Greetings guys, my name is Elio and welcome back to the channel. In today's character review, we have Ganju, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this party started. Alright, so we can see that SR Ganju here, uh, his specialty is being a tank type and his main selling points are stun and burn. So let's go over here and take a look at what he's working with. Alright, so for his combo skill, we have Senpin Banka which deals damage to a single enemy and it has a 63% chance to inflict burn. That is a weird percentage. I mean, I've seen like 60 and 70 and 50 and stuff, but 63, that is oddly, oddly specific. And then as we know of burn, especially from a character like Yamamoto, burn basically uh, damages the unit based on their max HP. So burn is universally useful regardless of whatever you're fighting where burn, burn can be applied at. And it's 4% per burn of max HP so within four turns they've already lost 16% of their HP and you know it just goes down from there not counting any other debuffs so uh the base damage on it seems a slightly bit low I want to say roughly by a 10% low but I think just because it has burn attached to it they lowered it just a little bit because the burn does hit and it lasts for two rounds well I think it comes out to be a little bit more damage but that skill is it's alright, it's alright. Let's take a look at his rage skill though. Uh, Rankin Seppa Sin. Uh, this deals damage to a single enemy and adjacent enemy on the back row. Uh, now, I've seen the CPU do this and it is just very, very bizarre the way that it hits. Like, I wish it would hit, like... I wish it would hit, like, the opposite of SR uh, Hitsugaya or Toshiro's rage skill where, where he... Well, where his comes out kind of like a cross. But any, I wish his hit more like a T, not like a. I hit the person in the front, and then the person in the uh, back right get hits by it. Just weird, bizarre. But this one has a nine percent chance of sending targets. Nine percent might as well not even be there. And obviously, once his weapon awakens, the damage is increased greatly and has a greater chance of stunning. And then we have the skill damage here, which which once again is very low. Um, so far his combo skill started off great even though he is a tank type so damage really isn't his selling point but burn is always nice but this skill right here 9% chance and that's all that it does that's that's a big oof uh, his third skill which is his passive is just HP so he gets more HP on him and then his fourth star skill which is his other passive is Shiba style when using normal attacks has a 50% chance to inflict a burn effect on the target which lasts for two rounds and then raid skill will will additionally increase chance of stunning we already know that he can do uh, the burn from his combo skill so I guess that is pretty much a guaranteed burn if I'm reading that correctly or is it a 50% of the 63% so it's gonna roughly be like you know 90 90 94.5% I'm not sure exactly what that means but obviously the probability of him burning is pretty much guaranteed at that point for his regular skill but never mind I, I got that totally mixed up that's for his normal attack so his normal attacks without the combo skill going off his mastery skill has a 50% to inflict burn which once again is nice that burn can be applied to him well applied to other characters even if he doesn't have his combo skill ready to apply burn that's not bad at all and then we see a 10% buff in the stun chance so that's now 19% and we can see especially with a character like uh, Toshiro 19% uh, really isn't that much now you could use war souls to kind of offset that but it's still not that much and it only hits literally two characters that's that's quite a bit rough but anyways let's go over here to the war souls real quick and see what we can work with for Ganju
All right, so I definitely hope that helped for the War Souls. So let's take a look at his talent real quick, and I'll wrap this video up. So, Man of the Sheba Clan, uh, the defense and HP of Rare War characters are increased by 0.8%. That's not that much, as we know, and I've said before in plenty of videos, but it probably serves better than what Ganju does. Um, in my opinion of Ganju, uh, his combo master skill is perfectly fine. His combo skill, which is his first skill, and it's nice that his passive adds burn to his normal attacks, but his rage skill just makes him utterly useless. 19% chance to stun on two targets, which if the target in the back row dies or the front row dies, it's just one target basically, so single target DPS and only 19% chance. Still not worth it. I mean, he would definitely need some buffs to make him anywhere near worth it. I mean, you could raise him up just for initiative or just, you know, raise him up so you can dump his extra shards into this and actually get some type of benefit out of it. But yep, that's Ganju. Uh, if you like him, I mean, feel free to build him. But in terms of investment, this is going to be a no for me, dog. But anyways, that's it for the video, you guys. I definitely hope you enjoyed it. There are more videos on the way. Once again, if you need a character, you know, reviewed like ASAP, feel free to leave a comment below. And I will try to get that one out to you as soon as possible. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.